If you've ever wondered how to deal with the objection, I'm not interested, you have found the perfect video if you're selling insurance. What I'm gonna do in this video is teach you over the phone, at the door, and in the presentation, how to effectively turn around the objection of I'm not interested so you can sell more insurance. Hey, 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 it's Dave Duford. Hope you guys are doing fantastic of Duford Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. Thanks for watching. So what we're gonna talk about today is how to properly address the objection, I'm not interested at different avenues, at different intersections of your insurance sales prospecting and presentation process. So without further ado, let's jump in and learn how to deal with this objection at different intervals. The first one we're gonna talk about is how to deal with I'm not interested on the phone. First of all, is this an objection you should take seriously? The answer is absolutely not. We cannot believe what our prospects say over the phone. We have to just simply rebuttal it and continue to hopefully move forward and close the client into an appointment. Plus, how can they say they're not interested if they don't know any facts or figures about what it is that we do? So we can't take this objection seriously, period. So what do we do when we hear I'm not interested over the phone and you're setting an appointment? Here's what you do. You say, hey, that's fine, Mr. Prospect. All I need is five minutes to show you how this works and whatever you do with it is entirely up to you. How about I stop by at 10 or would two o'clock work better? If you're selling this over the phone and you hear something that says I'm not interested, you simply rebuttal it quickly and then get back on script wherever you are. You say, hey, that's fine. I just need a few minutes to deliver this information to you. So how's your day treating you? Get back on script and, and this can occur at different parts of your opening uh, or rapport building stage of your telesales call. But you wanna get back on script as quickly as possible if you hear that there. What happens if you hear I'm not interested at the door? Well, it's pretty much exactly the same as what you would say over the phone. And it sounds something like this. I'm not interested. Hey, that's fine, Mr. Prospect. It's my job to deliver this information to you. And whatever you do with it's up to you. Would you like to sit out here on the porch with me or can I come in? So it's the same kind of strategy. We just say, it's okay. We sell the appointment and then ask to come in, uh, either sit on the porch or come in. Again, is this objection something you should take seriously? Absolutely not. It's just a knee-jerk objection. Keep moving forward. You'll be surprised how many you'll actually turn around. Now, sometimes you get into the house and you start a presentation and then you'll still hear, I'm not interested. The way that you kind of deal with this is very similar to how you deal with this on an opening part of a telesales call. If you hear a not interested earlier on, you just basically say, hey, that's fine. If you're interested, it's, it's not interested. That's completely okay with me. All I need is a few minutes to show you how this product works, what you do with it's up to you. And then you get back onto the script where you just missed or you just left off. And the last part of this is probably the most complicated way of dealing with this. Sometimes you'll hear I'm not interested at the tail end of a presentation after you've presented and closed. And the objection they give you is I'm just not interested. If I hear this in a presentation, this is a little bit more complex. If I get to the end and they say, I'm not interested, that's an unusual objection to hear if my agent has followed all the criteria of effectively presenting. For example, did they pre-qualify? They ask the right questions. Did they build proper rapport and introduce themselves? Did they properly position their product relative to the competition? And did they close the right way? And if you hear, I'm not interested at that end, it's likely at that point that you didn't do a good enough job building the value and building the need and desire earlier on in the conversation. So if you find yourself in this position after the fact and you're reviewing your call, look to how you open the call up and what questions you ask. It's likely you need to improve that. But if you find yourself having to hear that actually in the call and you recognize this, then you need to go back to the pre-qualification point and re-hit on the things that they said. So you're not interested. Um, how do you mean by that? Um, so let's go back and talk about this. You said you needed life insurance. You said it was important to you. How could you not be interested? Challenge them on that point if they've given you effective reasons why that you were there and they requested the information. And, and make the case based off what they said. Again, it's hard to fix the I'm not interested objection when you actually hear it because many times it's just based off of not doing a good enough job earlier. Again, how you close is very much related to how you open. So my biggest advice is, you know, take the hit on the chin, go back to your sales presentation, and work out how you can avoid that by asking better questions on the front end. 
So that's my advice on how to deal with the I'm not interested objection at different intervals in your insurance prospecting and presentation. If you like this kind of video, please thumbs it up, please subscribe, and make sure you check out my agency at the links above and below if you wanna learn more about joining the DeFord Insurance Group. Thank you for watching, take care, bye.